Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update and install drivers on HP Omen Transcend 14. And there are two ways of doing that. The first one is going to settings. It's pretty simple. Just go to settings, then Windows Update. And if there are any updates to install, click on download and install all. And wait until they get downloaded and installed. And if there is any that requires a reboot, you may need to reboot your laptop. If some of the, um, if still a device on your laptop, like some something doesn't work on your laptop, you can go to advanced options, then go to optional updates, driver updates. And if your display doesn't work, you can select the display drivers to get installed. Or if something else just doesn't work correctly, you can select it and click on download and install. But now let's get to the next. Uh, I think the better option, although less convenient, is going to a browser. So I'm just gonna type in uh, support dot hp dot com. This is the exact website you should go on and I'm just gonna change the language. Then you, sh you should simply go to software and drivers, laptop, and you can either enter the uh, serial number, which you can find on the bottom of your device, but I'm gonna let HP detect my product because it'll make me download a service bridge, which later on will be also helpful in identifying the drivers that I lack on my system. So it's best to use it with this method. If you don't see any pop-up after, uh, after this window shows, you should see a pop-up on the top of the screen. If you don't see it, click on, if you aren't seeing any pop-ups, click here, then select uh, this um, agreement, start download, it'll download the service bridge. Now you can open that file, click on yes, and simply wait until it gets installed. Now click on next, agree, install. Now click on finish, and once you click on finish, your browser should uh, have uh, the button to continue. Now it should be black, not grayed out. And if everything works correctly with the service bridge, you should see a pop-up shortly. If you don't, then just close it here and click on let HP detect your product again, then click on open on the pop-up. Now click on okay. and it will start identifying my product. Most probably it will also find uh, other products on my network. I am I think I have a um, printer, uh, HP printer on my network, so it'll probably also identify it, but I don't need it uh, right now. Uh, in this method, you, you could also um, download drivers for that printer. Now I'm gonna select this product then select the uh, OS version. And I think if you select just Windows 11 without the version, it should work just fine. And click on submit. Now I'm gonna detect my software drivers, but if you want, you can simply find the things that you um, wanna install. Like you can get the Omen Gaming Hub by clicking on download, or you can select it It'll then display itself at the top of the list and you can download just several drivers at the same time. But I'm gonna detect my software and drivers automatically, then click on open again on the pop-up on the service bridge, then click on okay here, and it'll start identifying uh, my current um, drivers and we'll see if there is, okay, I don't need any new software or drivers at this time, but it's actually not that correct because I'm pretty sure that I need the HP support assistant. So I'm just gonna add it to selection first. Mm, so yeah, I, I didn't mean to download it actually. Let's go back. Okay, I'm gonna select the system, submit, and I'm gonna 
you select uh, this one and also go to utility and tools and I'm gonna select the Omen Gaming Hub because I'm sure I don't have it. And now uh, you could also get the BIOS update but I think mine is up to date, I believe so. Mm, you can get some diagnostic tools, some drivers for audio, for chipset, for graphics, for keyboard, mouse and input devices or for network. The network driver is pretty useful, especially during setup of your Windows uh, if Wi-Fi doesn't work. But it's also with the Wi-Fi and everything, it's covered in install Windows uh, from USB on this laptop. On, uh, there is a video on our channel uh, that's named how to install Windows from USB on HP Omen Transcend 14. And uh, there is a segment about getting the uh, Wi-Fi drivers in the setup process. So now I'm just gonna leave uh, these two. I'm gonna select download selected files and you can download and install manually but I'm gonna download the download and install assistant then click on open because it let me install both at once at the same time. So I think that's pretty convenient. I'm gonna install now the Omen Gaming Hub. Click on next. Accept the terms and I license agreement. Next, next. And it's getting installed. I think it'll be pretty useful because I think the Omen Gaming Hub actually will let me customize the keyboard backlight, but I'm not sure. I haven't downloaded it yet. And also it may uh, give me a, an option to customize the F12 key on the keyboard because it has the omen uh, sign like the um, like the square um, that's um, that can be clicked on and may have some certain action assigned or may open omen gaming hub by itself Also, I installed the uh, um, HP Support Assistant. But I, I think I actually need to wait until the first one gets installed. So now I'm gonna close the browser now. Okay, so it actually uh, has to restart. Uh, so I need to wait until it restarts. After the restart, the Omen Gaming Hub will be installed and the HP Support in Assistant, I can install it. I can also click on install now, I think, or I don't know. Yeah, so now it's restarting. I don't know what happened to that second driver since I started uh, installing it, but yeah, this is, this is how it should work on everything and i hope this video helped you that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time